Hi, the Hofjorn. My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to the sixth installment in the hashtag Ask Fruit series, where you ask me questions, and I more or less give you serious answers. Well, answers. I'm not gonna put the serious moniker on it because then we get a bad reputation because I don't give you serious answers. But that's not the point. Sometimes we do. I don't know, we're starting off on a tangent, which means we're starting off right. Now, without further delay, let's head into it. But remember, if you want to get into the next Ask Fruit video, comment down below, including the hashtag Ask Fruit, to get a chance to see your comment pop up and me answer your whatever question you have. Heated question, popular question, whatever. Jason wants to know, I know you said in one of your earlier videos that you like to exercise, what are some of your favorite exercises, and what are some of your least favorite? Thank you for the question, Jason, I'm happy to answer that. Yes, I do tend to exercise from day to day, and I think my favorites would either have to be the downward dog position, or eating. That's gotta be one of my favorite exercises, there's just nothing quite beats it. Now my least favorite exercises would be running, and running. I hap I absolutely hate running. There's nothing good about it. Just awful. All the time. Hurts my knees so bad. Alpha Wolf is asking for me to react to the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer and my opinions on it. Well, sure, let me just pull up the trailer real quick. We have no precedent for this. We have no playbook for this. And apparently, we have little time. I'm excited, yeah, super excited. Dakota asks, are you going to DestinyCon and Tampa would love to meet you? I am, in fact. If you don't know, there's a uh, community-based Destiny event somewhere in August, and it's gonna be held in Tampa. I'll be there, so if you're there, I'll say hi. Come on down, don't be shy. Love to meet you. Simon Gray wants me to punch a toaster. I don't know what you have against the toaster or why you want me to seek revenge for whatever it might have done to you, but you know what? Ask and you shall receive, my friend. Fatality. Samuel Ling asks, what does your house look like from the inside? I've already showed you guys the outside, and since I'll be moving in a few days, I figured why not just show you the inside of it before I leave for you all to see where I have been residing the past year. Oh, hey, what's up? Welcome to my crib. I didn't know you'd come here. Oh, bring it in. Oh, it's so good to see you. I'm just kidding. Get in here. Listen, here's my house. And by my house, I mean I have three other roommates who are currently not here during summer because they're a couple of nerds. So we'll start with the front door, which leads right into the kitchen. Pretty uneventful stuff here. Ooh, most of this furniture just came furnished with the house. It's like a uh, you know, college residence housing places where it you know what I mean? Okay, great. So here we have our table. Here we have our fridge, which we call woodpecker because the ice maker makes some weird noises at night. And yeah, here's, you guys have sort of seen the kitchen at times. You'll see all this alcohol located at the top of my drawer. As I mentioned, I don't drink. So I haven't, none of that is my doing. So that was split between a few people. Hopefully they don't get some sort of liver disease or whatnot, I don't Who knows? And here we'll have some nice wood peg, which is actually Okay, I have just been notified that this is called pegboard. That's what I said. And, oh, here's our pantry. Which, um, I mean, there's not really running in on the Not much here. Separated by roommate, you get one shelf. I get the top shelf. Which, yeah, I okay. Pretty exciting stuff here, people. We'll keep moving on into the living room. Again, this TV, the couch, all that stuff was provided with the house. And can't say come to we have a little bar, some bar stools if you want to take a seat. Um, yeah, that's, the, the computer didn't come with that. Um, and then here's the, the couch, which you saw me sat on. All right, my can one is being real sassy today and corrected all my mistakes. So who, who knows how much this is even going in here? So I can't speak English, apparently. Here we have a little bedroom, the one on the floor, which is not mine. And then a wonderful, wonderful poster to welcome you in. Welcome. So you know it's a good room warming thing. And then you have another bathroom. 
that's this one's technically I guess like the guest bathroom and anyone can use it because then each bedroom has their own bathroom. And continuing along with your fantastic tour. Oh, you're through your night with it. Continue up the stairs. That's right, two stories. Oh my god. Ah. So make your way up here. Yeah. Ooh, nice butt shot. Hmm. So here. Here is my um, bedroom, which you guys have already seen my setup and everything you can see right there. You've seen through several different videos and whatnot, I think. In another app screw that showed just my room. So if you want to go see that, go go do that. But here I'll be taking you down the grand hallway, as it's not known. Um, and then here we have our laundry room. Again, all supplied with the house. Great stuff. Love it. Here is our own bedroom of another. What did they call them? Roommates, that's what they're called. And then another one, but they're not here and stuff, so I can't really tread on their territory, because it might beat me up. And that's pretty much it. Pretty exciting stuff here. I know, house is blowing your mind. But again, it's just a temporary lease thing for uh, college students or not the college things. And it's primarily a college neighborhood. Tons of hooligans doing their hooligan things, parties, you know, all of that stuff those whipper snappers do. So, it's on my house. If you go Fire Ass, can you make your intro and animation of your profile pic the apple and watermelon slice? Challenge accepted, my friend. Joe Shard, if you were stuck on an island that only has one tree, what fruit would you want to grow on it? Well, hopefully I would never have to make that decision. But I suppose if it came down to it, I would choose... Please let it be a banana tree. <sighs> Nova Seed Gaming, did you play Black Ops 2 at all? I did, and coincidentally I actually made a video on it not too long ago. Well, actually, it was a long time ago, but I think it pretty well encapsulated my feelings for Black Ops 2. Play the clip. Swaggy Walrus asks, how do you keep up with the demand with all the great series that you make? Thank you for your compliment, but I think the best way I could describe it is... I don't know. With a little bit of uh, dedication, perseverance, and perspiration. Mainly, mainly perspiration. Naftali asks, do the Running Man Challenge. I don't know if I can do the Running Man Challenge, but I can attempt the Running Man Challenge. The Consti had commented on the last Ask Fruit and said, I have a date tomorrow and I'm so nervous. Now this was two weeks ago, so Consti, best of luck for you. Hopefully it went well, and you don't have to be nervous, just be yourself. It's gonna go great. And hopefully, perhaps it went well, and you'll soon be on your way to a second date with whomever it might be, maybe a third. And it'll be a day you'll remember forever, when 20 years from now you're both married, five children, Two dogs, maybe a cat if you're into that sort of thing. Middle of suburbia, together a happy couple, thriving as middle-aged adults. You'll look back and be like, I remember when I was nervous. <laughs> How silly. <laughs> and crippling debt. What? Enderman says bananas are 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 dancing. Airmax Gaming says that there is a girl he likes and he's not sure how to talk to her. Now I'm no love doctor, but I think I have just the potion that'll spice up your love life. So you don't know how to talk to her. Here's what you do, okay? You see this lovely specimen that you have been eyeballing for who knows how long. You walk up to her. And without being too awkward, you say, hey, the name's Air Max Gaming. You're, uh, you're pretty cool. I guess I could let you take me out on a date sometime. I'm thinking maybe uh, you get some dinner. Then we can head back to my place, maybe get some popsicles, hang out with my parents, and then leave promptly at 8 because I got a bedtime at 8.30. So uh, what do you say? And then if she says no, she's not a keeper. And just move on, all right? Because, you know, you deserve better, Air Max. Jackson Brady, will you eat a vegetable on camera? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just, um, let me just go get a vegetable. And then, well, I'll eat it on camera. Hold on. Hold on.
Jesse Gear says, hey bud, do you ever encounter any fans in public? If so, how do you handle it? Is it usually a good or a scary experience? Great videos, my man. Keep it up and keep it one hundo. Now, I have met some fans from time to time when I head out into the outside world, but here's the problem. That means I'd have to visit that thing out there, that gross place that people go to do things. It's disgusting. I dwell indoors. So the likelihood that I get noticed inside my room is relatively small because no one really visits my bedroom. So I don't meet fans that often, but I have when I go out and it's always fun. It's always good. I haven't had any scary experience or anything. It's usually just like, oh, cool. They noticed me. Hey, how you doing? Good to meet ya. Or it's just a quick drive-by, you know? There was actually one, yeah, literally a time when I was driving and then they did like a, a wave drive-by, a whole family. That was cool. So it's good to see them and all that stuff, but that would require me to go outside and that's gross, so. And thus concludes another installment of Hashtag Ask Fruit. Thank you very much for watching and tuning in and thank you for all your comments. If you wanna have a chance, remember, leave it down below a comment or a question, whatever you have, with the hashtag ask fruit, and you may make it into the next video. This was a ton of fun to make, they're always a ton of fun to make, and share it with some friends, some family, some pets, whoever you wanna do. See what they think. Maybe they'll enjoy it. Maybe they'll think I'm crazy, because, yeah, I think I am too. So thanks again for all of your support. We're closing in on 600,000 subs. Very exciting stuff. Again, I'll be moving in a couple days here, so I might make some sort of vlog or something with the new setup once that all gets uh, configured, so we'll see. But have yourself a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell.